Hi, I'm Trev Hutchings, and this is how to create a tape stop effect in the PC version of BandLab. Click on the track header for the audio track you want to add a tape stop to. Click on effects. Then click on add effect. Now click on pitch shift. Then click on pitch shifter. Now move the mouse cursor over shift so it turns into a number. Then click on the number, type in zero and click on the enter key on your computer keyboard. Then click on Add Effect. Click on Pitch Shift. Then click on Pitch Shifter again. Then move the mouse cursor over Shift so it turns into a number. Then click on the number, type in zero and click on the Enter key on your computer keyboard. Now click on Add Effect again. Click on Pitch Shift. And click on the Pitch Shifter again. Then move the mouse cursor over shift so it turns into a number. Then click on the number, type in zero and click on the enter key on your computer keyboard. For a tape stop effect, one pitch shifter is not enough. So here we've added three. Each pitch shifter can change the pitch by 12 semitones. And here we need 36 semitones. Next, click on the automation icon. Now click on the automation drop list. And click on shift on the first pitch shifter. Now click on the automation line where you want the tape effect to start to add a dot to the automation line. Then click on the automation line where you want the tape effect to end to add a dot to the automation line. Now press on the dot and drag it down the screen until the pop-up message says minus 12 ST. Next, click on the automation line between the dots, about three quarters of the way towards the last dot, to add a dot to the automation line. Then press on the dot and drag the dot up the screen until it says about minus 3 ST on the pop-up message. Now click on the automation drop list and click on shift on the second pitch shifter. Then add the same three dots to the second pitch shifter automation line. Try to get them as close as possible to the first pitch shifter dots, but you don't have to get them exactly the same.
Now click on the automation drop list again. And click on shift on the third pitch shifter. Then add the same three dots to the third pitch shifter automation line. Finally, click on the automation icon to hide automation. You can move the dots on all three shift automation lines to change the speed of the tape stop effect. If you enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers.